It was a bizarre case that changed so many lives, so many careers, so quickly. A blue on blue officer on officer shooting. It happened at Tramway and Central 10 months ago. The case has since moved from here to here to finally here, federal court. It all started in January when police say undercover detectives arranged to buy drugs from two suspects. According to police reports, Detective Jacob Grant was in the middle of that drug bust when he saw what he thought was a gun, then revealed he was a police officer, drew his weapon, and yelled, Put your hands up. One of the detectives said as they were approaching the car, he heard Jacob's boss, Lieutenant Greg Brackle, yell, Gun, gun, he has a gun. Then five to eight shots rang out. Then the report says that detective heard Lieutenant Brackle tell Officer Grant, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Other witnesses who saw what happened said the same. He was holding his head like, um, like in disbelief, and he kept pacing back and forth. Now, 10 months later, APD has turned over its investigation to the district attorney to see if any laws were broken. And Detective Grant, who was shot nine times, is suing. I was relieved because he was still breathing and he was breathing on his own, but it was very scary. It didn't look like my husband at the moment. Grant survived, but he has had multiple surgeries, more than a dozen. His stomach, his colon, lungs, liver, spleen, all damaged. His attorney says he will have many more surgeries and a lifetime of injuries, not to mention hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills and climbing. His attorneys say Grant was a victim of excessive force and claims Greg Brackle didn't attend the briefing that day when he ended up shooting his own colleague. Yesterday, we learned the case against the city and Brackle moved to federal court because Grant's lawyers claim his federal civil rights were violated. Here, there is no financial cap on damages. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.